Hello everyone and welcome to the New York Empoleon semi-final battle of the APA Evolution Season 1. We have made it this far. There are four coaches left after a starting total of 16 began in this season and we have whittled it down to the last four. We are here taking on Lapis Lazy. I hope it's not Lapis Lazy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we are here taking on Lapis this week and... Her Aussie Kangas cons. Of course, the scheduling is going to be interesting, so this battle is going to be taking place a little bit later on in the evening, but hopefully all goes well. You know I do fine in my later battles in the evening, so it is what it is. Um, or is this one early morning? I can't remember. I should check the scheduling. Either way, one of us is battling in the evening, one of us is battling in the morning. There's no two ways about it. That's the way schedule is going to work out. Her team... <coughs> wow. I'm not even sick. There's just like some tickling in my throat. Probably should drink some water. Um, but, oh boy, you don't usually see that at the beginning of a video. <clears throat> anyway, her team is Megalodios, Heatran, Suicune, Togekiss, Hippowdon, Sneasel, Aerodactyl, Heliolisk, and Buzzwool, with Heatran and Aerodactyl being the two possible Z users. <clears throat> right off the bat, we're going to jump in with Tapu Koko. Celica is coming to the semifinals. She has an expert belt. Calm Mind, Grass Knot, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt should be able to set up and sweep if I can get just a little bit of chip on a couple of major threats. Uh, we all saw my UBL Week 1 battle. Grass Knot does not take out a special defensive of Powdon, so we do have to watch out for that. Um, and otherwise, I'm running max speed with a timid nature to speed tie with the Aerodactyl, um, since that thing is sort of a major threat to my team, since EQ spam is kind of real, um, and we'll get to how I'm going to deal with that later on. But <clears throat> outside of, like, Scarfed Aerodactyl, this thing should be able to take a hit, deal with whatever threat's in front of it, um, and threaten a lot of her Pokemon. Next up, we have Gardevoir, which has an Assault Vest, Psy Shock, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, and Hidden Power Ground for the Heatran, um, which is the obvious switch into this thing. Um, Psy Shock is actually pretty good against things like the Sweet if it wants to start setting up Calm Minds. Um, hits the, uh, Buzzwool as well, although Moonblast will hit that harder because it does have better physical defense. Um, but Psy Shock Moonblast hits the entire team neutrally, uh, with the exception of Heatran, which I'm going to have the Hidden Power Ground for. And a Sweet that has not started boosting, or a Togekiss, Thunderbolt hits harder, so I decided, let's just run it. Um, it also hits the Aerodactyl, so I figured it's not a bad move to have. We're going to run Modest Nature, but a decent amount of speed, um, ensuring that we can outspeed all but the, the speediest of Buzzwolves. This is outspeeding Adamant Buzzwolves, by the way. Um, and uh, the Assault Vest will allow us to take hits from things like the Latios. Uh, I can take a Flash Cannon from a Heatran as well, um, and I can take hits from the, the Togekiss as well. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Nidoqueen Queen with the Life Orb. So we are going to be rocking out with uh, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. Went back and forth on Toxic Spikes versus Toxic, but decided to just run straight Toxic instead of T Spikes this week. Um, mostly, honestly, just it doesn't. I don't get that many opportunities to set them up. Uh, she has too many things that can switch in, like the Heatran, the Togekiss, the Megalodius, and the Aerodactyl that all don't take anything from the T Spikes. Um, and so I figured just having Toxic would be better since T-Spikes won't be getting that much value. Additionally, I need there to be two layers, otherwise I'm really not preventing anything. But that being said, Heliolisk loves switching in and switching out, so two layers actually makes it worse, um, and Suicune can always rest it off. So I figured, eh, let's just run Toxic. It's a little bit more reliable. It's 100% accurate on the Nido Queen, so we'll be able to deal with things like that. Next up, we have the Rotom with Leftovers this week. It is going to be my 100% Buzzwool counter, um, running a decent amount of speed to outspeed uh, Adamant Buzzwool. And then otherwise max defense and then some special defense as well. Um, Will-O-Wisp is there again for Buzzwool, but also because Sneasel, Hippowdon, uh, don't like an Aerodactyl, don't like taking a Willow. Uh, Hex is just better stab than Shadow Ball at that point. Um, and then Defog and Pain Split are fairly evident since this thing is supposed to be able to counter a lot of the threats and anything spamming Earthquake. Uh, I definitely want that Pain Split to be able to make sure I can recover HP effectively. Next up, we have Vaporeon, Wish Scald, Heal Bell, and Haze for the Suicune. I've run this set, and it's 1v1 Suicune before. I don't see why I can't do it again. We're running Specially Defensive, so we can switch in on the Heatran. And the Heliolisk a little bit better. Obviously, I don't want to take, like, Specs Thunderbolt, but uh, Hyper Voice is a 3 KO. So that's a really good thing to know. Um, Wish, I kind of think I might run Protect. We might have should. I couldn't find a place for Protect, but I really wanted to run it. Don't know how to say that at all other way, another way. And lastly, we have the Shookaberry Incineroar uh, with U-Turn Knockoff, Darkest Lariat, and Flare Blitz. Darkest Lariat hits the Suicune if it starts uh, boosting, hits the um, Buzzwool if it starts bulking up. Um, so we do have an option to break through uh, some defenses like that. Um, <clears throat> additionally, 
Knockoff is really good utility, Utrecht is really good utility, and a Flare Blitz is going to hit something incredibly hard. Shookaberry allows me to take a hit from the Hepowdon, maybe sneak out a kill there, um, or a hit from the Aerodactyl or the Buzzwool. Again, maybe trying to sneak in one last bit of damage on one of those. Uh, we're running 8 speed, so we can't speed creep me, uh, so she can't speed creep me with, um, with Hippowdon, which is the only thing slower than this, otherwise there's no real reason to run speed. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but why not try it? Uh, why not have those EVs there, since I only need 248 to make the um, HP odd. So that's what I was going to go with. That's the team for this week. Hopefully you guys are excited for this battle. We are in the semifinals. One more win and we will see ourselves into the last battle of the season and give you guys the maximum amount of content for this channel. Hopefully we get there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all back here tomorrow. I will figure out what's going on with my voice and fix it because it's bothering me. Um, but that's the way this recording goes. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everybody.